Hey there, I'm Carrie Williams. This is Moonstruck TV. And um, the name of the show is Perry Lyons New York City Celebrity Psychic. However, today I'm in Maryland. I came out to work in my mom's house and there was a power outage. So I am in a no hotel motel. Um, and believe me when I tell you I'm the only person not committing adultery in this like square 300 foot area. Um, but God bless them. I, I would commit adultery, but I haven't managed to finish selling my ethics on eBay yet. Um, I'd like to wish a happy birthday, happy 90th birthday to the Loch Ness Monster. Um, it was 90 years ago, maybe not her birthday. I mean, she looks pretty good, but I think she's had some work done. Um, <laughs> it was 90 years ago, almost, to the, mm, almost today, that she was first photographed, if you believe the photograph, which, why not? It's fun. Um, by a Scottish surgeon. I don't know why I'm telling you as a surgeon. It's just a guy holding a camera, okay? Um, and ever since then, we've all been Nessie crazy. Unless we haven't. Unless you really don't care about Nessie, which is fine with me, too. But I love the Loch Ness Monster. Hopefully it isn't reciprocated. I don't think I have room in my house for... Um, the other thing, let's see the other thing. Um, oh, I'm going to do the tarot psychic weather, which is just like regular weather, except less damaging crops. And we're going to start out today with, oh, didn't expect that card. The first card, it looks a little grim, not going to lie, a little grim, but it's actually a kind of a, an encouraging card. See how this guy is staring at three cups on the ground that have spilled their dubious contents. And his back is to two full cups, which are upright and going over here, Mac. So this means that you might be looking at your life in terms of what's missing rather than what is totally, totally there for you to appreciate. Hooray. So just turn around and also get rid of the black cloak. Don't wear black cloaks. They're depressing. Um, I think this card would look better if he was in some sort of flouncy pink tall thing, but frock. Um, so your advice for the beginning of the week is don't be so glum, chum. Look at what's working. It's always good advice. In fact, whenever I'm in a grumpy mood, which isn't very often because I was born annoyingly cheerful, when I was born, they're like, it's a girl, and she's really annoyingly cheerful. And then they slap me, but I don't think that's cause and effect. Um, so this card says, look around and appreciate what you have. Count, I know count your blessings is kind of cliche, but whenever I get blue, I start to look around and say, I have feet and I can walk in them. Oh, I can breathe easily. There's a lot of stuff that we have that we don't appreciate. So start appreciating it, pal. Enough with the spilled cups. Woo! Okay. This is from a different deck. Oh, this is really nice. See, this is what happens when you appreciate stuff. Life gets better. The two of cups indicates that you're going to spend some quality time either with a significant other. Is there such a thing as an insignificant other? Anyway. Um, and or you're going to have a great time with a friend. This is about friendships of the heart. These two people, well, on the normal card, it's two people exchanging golden cups at the level of the heart, which means two people exchanging confidences and trust and being loving and all that. Uh, this could also mean that if there's somebody you've secretly had your eye on, wink, 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 um, I don't mean stalking, <laughs> enough about my personal life, um, that this might be a good time to, you know, just sort of say, hey, how about you and me? Go to, thank God it's Fridays, and order a nauseating drink. Um, but seriously, like that ever happens on this show, this is a, a good time to feel loving and trusting and know that it will be reciprocated. Unless you want to get a restraining order, in which case I'm not responsible. Um, the next card is, oh, that's a scratch off ticket. Oops. Um, I did that on purpose. The next card is, it's the family card. This is a family legacy. You can see that there's an old dude in the front and then a guy and a girl. And you, there, there looks like three generations. There's also dogs. Dogs are always good. Dogs um, symbolize loyalty, faithfulness, and being bitten in the butt. Um, oh, Jenny in Boaz, Alabama. Cool. I'll be with you in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Although I don't actually have a lamb, truth in advertising. Um, so this means that you'll probably be spending time around 
friends and family, especially. This is um, towards the end of the week, which is to say next mm, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, this also has another meaning when I get this for people who are looking for a significant other. Um, this can often mean that, and I realize not many people are going to agree with me in this, but I've been doing this a really long time longer than I'm actually going to tell anybody ever. And this can often mean that the person you have your eye on comes from family money, which is a nice kind of money to come from. Any kind of money is a nice kind of money to come from. Um, although the pure of heart don't need that. But us pure of heart also like money and like sleeping indoors and eating hot regular meals. So where was I going? Um, this could also mean that somebody who is from com comfortable circumstances um, is romantically interested in you. and But mostly it means you're going to hang out with family, three generations, really good thing to do. Re make sure to record your grandparents talking about their memories. A really good week for that. Okay. Boaz, Alabama, here we come. Hi, baby, how are you? Fine, I'm doing good. Cool, I love your accent. Um, tell me your first name again. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Jenny. And Jenny, I like to connect to people by asking what their birthdays are because I'm nosy. Uh, that's how I like to connect to people psychically. So when's your birthday? November the 16th. Oh, you little squirrel. Okay. Yeah. Are you in intense, loyal, creative, and ooh, not to be crossed? And you tell the truth often. Scorpio is a very yeah. misunderstood sign. People are scared of it, but that's because Scorpios tell the truth and they ain't nothing scarier than that. Um, but I love them. I'm a Pisces. We're the only people who can handle you guys. How can I help you today, my love? Um, I like to do a reading on my brother that passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have a two-syllable first name. What was his first name, please? Um, Michael. Um, M I. C-A-E-A-L. Oh. oh, unusual. So two syllables, that's right. Do you mind if I ask how old? I can't tell if he's 16 or 26. How old was he when he passed? Um, 34. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's six up. Mm, no, it's not. Um, he looks, I'm going to say he looks about 26. He's very attractive. Um... Is he about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, around there? Yeah. He okay. Was taller. Then I, I got the right guy. Oh, hi, Michael. Thank you for showing up. He sends huge love to, to your mom. She's still with us, right? Um, no, my mom is okay. that's way too. That's, yeah, sorry. That's what I, as soon as I said that, I'm like, no, she's on the other side. That's why I asked if she's still with us. Sorry, sometimes my mouth moves faster than my brain does. That would be all the time. Um, so I'm sorry. What I'm getting is he's with his mom, your mom. Boy, are they, they're really doing very, very well indeed. Um, I, th I think he passed in a, I mean, it's always tragic when somebody dies that young. But I think he passed in a particularly tragic way. Is that correct? Yes, he did. Um, yeah. He had a heart attack. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, do you have two other brothers? Yeah. Or two sub I, yeah. yeah. Two other brothers. Okay. I'm just checking. I got the right people here. Um, I can't tell if you have a sister or not. Sorry about that. Yeah, I have an, a sister. She's older. Okay. Oh, so you and I have the same family structure. I have three three older brothers and a sister. Um, I'm very sorry about Michael, but man, he is glowing. And he's getting to do a lot of the stuff he loved to do. Let me see what that is. He liked to eat. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's the first yeah. thing he... What? <gasps> I've, I've never gotten yeah. this in a... He, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, he loved Chinese food. Like, he always wanted to go out to eat Chinese. Like, we always eat the Chinese that's so cute. He's really cute. He's got, I feel like he's got a dimple on the right side of his face. Does he have a slightly roundish face? Yes. 
Yeah, and it, it's got a dimple on the side, right? She's got a great yes. smile. Hi, Michael. Um, does your mom's first name, is it an old-fashioned name? Does it, be, does it have an L in it? What? Amy. Okay, no L. Is there an L anywhere in her name? No. Is she a middle name? Yeah, your middle name, Lee. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Um, thank you, dear. Amy Lee is what I'm getting. Thank you. Um, hi, Amy. Well, they're, they're very happy, and they're with... Uh, more of her family has passed than your father's family, so she's she's all good. She's hanging out. Um, and she gets to... She gets to go to church a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. She falls a lot. Yeah. She's lovely. She's also holding a cake up for you. Um, I don't know if she baked you a specific cake on your birthday. This looks like a coconut cake. It's got white icing. Whatever that is, it's for you. Meanwhile, Michael is saying, take care of his kitten. What the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think he had a kitten. Oh, that, um, that sorry. Like, care of his kid. What? His kid. He's got kids. Oh, kids. That makes a lot more sense than kittens. I'm sorry. The, it's not a great connection in terms of audio. Uh, I was thinking kitten didn't make much sense. So you have three kids? Yes, he or has two? three. Three. Okay, good. Three. I'm on fire tonight. Um, he wants you to look after the youngest a, a bit more than the others for him. He's the... Older two are fine. The youngest is still kind of finding his or her way and is very sensitive. And that's something that you understand. Um, you're very good with, you're very good with sensitive. I think you're very good with kids, but you're very good with sensitive people. You're very empathic. Um, and you know how to, I, I just think you'd be really good in this kid's life a lot right now. And maybe, I don't know how old this child is, but maybe I can't tell if it's a boy or a girl. Take, do something fun with him or her. Take him to an amusement park or something. It's a girl. Then, yeah, it is a girl. Okay. And get her mind off it. She's very sensitive and she's suffering. Um, I don't think he liked, I don't, I'm not sure about this one because sometimes I'll get something and it's, and so I'm no, I don't know if he liked tinkering with like motorcycles or cars. I'm not sure about yeah. that one. So don't, um, he did. Okay. He did that. Yeah. Did he like motorcycles especially? Uh, no, um, he, he liked like toy motorcycles. He would put it, big, like make those and put them up, like oh, set them up. Cool. Apart. Okay. Um, well, he loves you. He mostly loves your your brothers and sister. There's one of them. He's there's a little misunderstanding there, and he's still working that out. Um, he did not expect to die. It, it was like, boom, gone. So he's still figuring that out too, but he's, he's in a really good place. He's with, he's with your mom. Um, and there's a grandfather figure of some kind who I really like. A very good man. Um, I hope that works for you. He sends his love, spend time with his kids. I've, I've got a young lady in, uh, I think, Georgia coming up in a minute, but I wanted to thank you for giving me the opportunity to connect with your brother, with you, and with your mom, because uh, they're you. really lovely people. And I hope that we got enough things right so you understand that life continues. Love continues. Love doesn't die. Okay, baby? Okay. Mm, thank you. Take care. Uh -huh. Hi, well. sweetie. How are you? Thank you for calling in. Hello. Tell me your first Hi. name again. It, it flashed on the screen very fast. Oh, Aubrey, what a beautiful name. Yes, thank cool. you so much. I want to be named Aubrey, too. Let's both be Aubreys. It's a great <laughs> name. And what day is thank your birthday, my angel? Sure. July 7th. Oh, we're getting all water signs today. Awesome. Cancer. Yes. <laughs> yes. 7-7. Um, seven, seven. Very good. Day. Mm -hmm. I love cancers. Another misunderstood <laughs> sign. You guys are the no. big sweeties of the Zodiac, except that sometimes you're so sensitive that sometimes you can put up a little shell or wall, but you're so right. sweet. Um, 
I'm very, very empathetic and a little psychic. How can I help you today, my Aubrey? Hi, I am just curious. Um, I started a business um, not too long ago. And I'm just curious if it's like something that is going to actually be worth it for me. Is it something that's going to happen? Like, am I going to stick with yes. it? Just becoming draining at this point. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Usually, honestly, it take it can take two years for business to really find its feet. Um, and right now, you're mm -hmm. you're totally you jumped in at the deep end, didn't you? I don't think you knew yeah. how much work it was going to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's not like you don't have a business degree, and neither do I. And frankly, I don't trust people who do. But don't. Oh, did I just say that outside of my head? Damn it! Um, do you mind if I ask <laughs> what the business is? I can't quite get a read on it, and I want to save time. Are you there? Hello? Yes, a cleaning business. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, can you hear me? Oh, that's a very good idea for you. You know what you need? You need a gimmick of some kind. Uh, I don't mean mm -hmm. like nude cleaning, which is very big in New York in the 90s for some <laughs> reason. Um, so don't do that. But either organic or you need a hook because there's a lot of competition where you are. You're actually better than any of them. You might want to call it something like the OCD cleaners. Uh, we're obsessive mm -hmm. compulsive about 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 your house. Because the thing is, you're very detail oriented. Right. What's that like? Um, you're very detail oriented. You're really good. Can you come to Maryland tomorrow? That would be really nice. <laughs> How could you see? Please, please, I'll give you a free reading. My house looks like three hurricanes hit it. Um, oh no. Oh no, it's bad. I am. Well, <clears throat> I'm very good at a lot of things and cleaning isn't any of them. <clears throat> um, you know what? I think you're a little afraid to be your entire self in selling this business. But the thing is, you have a great personality. I would totally hang out with you any day of the week. So I would be both the face of your business and what's something when people describe you, what do they say about you? Do they say like, oh, she's incredibly polite or she's incredibly kind or I think they say both of those things, or she's incredibly yeah. detailed. So make something like that. Make yourself the face of the business. Don't be shy about this. You photograph well. I don't care any objections I'm hearing from you. I'm just going to ignore because this is extremely good advice, and I give business advice to people for tons of money. Well, <clears throat> um, I have in the past, and I hope to again soon. I could use a ton of money right now. Um, but but I do, I do do a lot of business intuition. And believe me when I say that you being the face of your business, call yourself uh, the OCD cleaner or the, the polite cleaner, the cleaner who cares, but something. Personalize it because your personality and your integrity, you go in there and you are going to do the best possible job. And most people don't do that, mm -hmm. sad to say. I've hired cleaners and I'm coming right. later and I'm like, did you guys? Do anything? How much right. am I paying you? I mean, it's nuts. <laughs> um, I had this one girl come in. I just have to tell you this really quickly to, to tell you that you're so much better than you know you are. She came and she showed up. She owned this cleaning company. She had eight inch fingernails. I'm like, oh. they curled. It was crazy. It was like uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not. <laughs> and I'm like, how are you going to clean? She's like, oh, I manage. Let me tell you, she did not manage, okay? You manage. Oh, so you're going to have a lot of success with this. You're a little afraid of success because, of, but success is actually less responsibility than not success. So things are a lot easier. And you're going to get off the ground really soon, especially if you follow my genius advice. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you remember the old Warner Brothers cartoon with Wiley Coyote? There's one where he would introduce himself, Wild E. Coyote, genius. That's how right. I feel right now. <laughs> My <laughs> card. Um, oh, you're doing great. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, you're really good at it. And you put your, you're going to, actually, you're going to do so well in the next six months that you're going to have to expand and hire a little more staff. Get some college mm -hmm. kids. You can pay them nothing and they don't even notice. Um, Right. Sorry. I just said that outside of my head again, didn't I? Damn it. Um, but the rest of your life's pretty good. It feels like 
Boy, have you got a good head in your shoulders. Uh, make sure you're keeping track of all your expenses. Use like a, you know, spreadsheet because uh, mm -hmm. you're going to clean next tax season. You're going to clean up. You've got a lot of great deductibles coming up. Me giving people tax mm -hmm. advice is like a duck giving advice in quantum physics, just so you know. Um, <laughs> right. What else? Yeah, you're doing fine otherwise. That would be my, yeah, you're going to do great. Just really, really have confidence in yourself because you're the best person. You are, at least in your county, and I'm going to say in your state, you're the best person doing this. You have the most integrity. You do the best job. You give the best value for money, and you got a great attitude. Knock them dead. Not literally. Yes. I mean, knock, knock them clean. Right. And as long as I've got you. Any other questions? Or talk to dead people or ask about your love life? or No um, algebra. That's well, my only... Oh, let's do love life. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> or <man>. perhaps not. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't mind if I just curl up in a fetal position under the bed and sob uncontrollably, do you? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, sorry. That's my love life. Um, your love life is going to, you know what? You don't really want a full time partner right now. Boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, llama <laughs> friend. You don't. You're too busy. You'd like somebody for companionship, but I don't think you want somebody hanging out and trying to tell you what to do and judging you. You're going to have that. I mean, not that, but you'll have a relationship. But that's later on, towards the end of the year. Right. And I think you're probably seeing somebody, but whoever you're seeing right now isn't worth your time. Use them for whatever they're good yeah. for. And then toss them like, a, like an orange peel. Orange peel? I have no idea where that came from. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, the, whoever's in your... feels like there are two people in your life, but there's especially one, and it's just back and forth. This person's never going to treat you like the empress queen you are. So, sod him, her, them, whatever. Um, all right, we solved that. What other world problems can we solve? Um, one other thing. Do you mind if I ask you have kids? I can't. I'm usually really good at kids. I can't get if you have any. Yeah, I have two. I have a daughter and a son. Oh, there they are. They're adorable. They've got nice names too. You gave them. You gave them very elegant names. Do you mind if I ask what their names are? You don't have to tell me. My What's son's that? name is Prince. My son's name is Prince, and my daughter's yes. name is Ava. I love those <laughs> names. Oh, <laughs> this is what it sounds like. When doves cry, I love Prince. <laughs> Prince, Prince, Prince. We're all about Prince here. Love the name Ava. See, I like yeah. the names. I was right. And they're adorable. Oh, they're great kids. I don't know. You're totally a good mom. I don't know what you're doing, but you have not screwed those children up, which is very high compliment. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. No, they're really good. Uh -huh. And they're going to have long health. Wow. Great kids. Really like the kids. Don't, don't care for the father much, but uh, or both of them. Um, no. but really good genetic material. I'll give you that. So let's see job, love life, kids, your health is good. You want to cut down on the sugar a bit. She says, looking in the mirror, I just gained 30 pounds. Mm. We've got two minutes. So, <laughs> um, and one of the reasons you don't want to use yourself in the advertising is you don't look the way you think you should look, but you actually look wonderful. It's really hard when mm. in this in this society, you know, every time I don't even look in the mirror right now because I'm or if I do after a certain age, you approach you approach the mirror and like you sort of have this face all worked out before you jump in front of the mirror. It's like mm -hmm. go to the mirror and then you're like, <laughs> um, yeah. but you're really attractive and you just as you are right now. So if that's holding you back. Get some photographs. Put on some pretty makeup. Put on, unless you don't like makeup, in which case, don't do that. But put on stuff that makes you feel good. Have, have a friend take pictures of you and really use them in your advertising. Because you're lovely. Hmm. And also, you're just really attractive person. And it'll be, I think it'll be very good for your business. People also like having a person attached to the business, especially in a personal service like that, because it makes them feel like they see you, they can trust you. It's not some nameless person who's going to come in and steal their grandmother's silverware and their grandmother. Right. Um, okay, to sum up, your relationship stuff is to more, more towards the end of the year. Your kids are awesome. You're going to do a great job with your job. Take my advice because normally people pay a lot of money for that. 
Uh, if you're ever in Maryland or Brooklyn, give me a call and I'll take you out for beer because I like you. Um, <laughs> you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just so much fun. Um, thank you so much. Oh, and you're going to thank you, my angel. It was great meeting you. So, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to say good night and thank you to my wonderful callers. I get the best people here. They're the coolest and most wonderful. So call next week. Uh, this is Perry Lyons, New York City celebrity psychic on Moonstruck TV, A1R Radio. Woohoo! And I love you, and that color looks great on you. Bye bye.